All right, so I think this is the project everyone's been nagging me about. Um, it's called Rubik Finance, right? And this is also was covered in uh, Murdoch DeFi's thingy. Why is this in a line? Um, can we do a one-day chart, or is it too new? Yeah, the default is usually candlesticks. Yeah, you know what, we'll just leave it as a line. Okay, let me set this to four days. All right, so I'm a little surprised that you guys actually uh, requested, apparently, a tune fork. Oh, where's our shares? Yeah, there you are. So uh, just give me a second to set this up. Uh, of course, the share right, is doing that same thing. Uh, let's set you to one hour so I can read this properly. All right. So this is actually a tune fork. Oh, great. That means I got to do... Oh boy. Uh, well, as you know me, I like I I don't want to do tomb forks anymore. Like I'm in Amer I'm in America money, right? Run by Brando himself, but that's it. Like no more tomb forks uh, for me personally, because uh, they just keep going down in value anyway. It's like okay, you know what? Yeah, whatever. Uh, if I were to do a second one, I might actually do tomb finance, which is by Harry E, because that's the only one that's consistently working. Right, I wouldn't do the tomb shares. I would actually do uh, the base peg token uh, too. All right, because basically you're just getting a, you're basically earning interest on Phantom. All right, it's not a lot, but at least it works. All right, so you know. All right, so let's see. We got this. I do actually like that their website UI is at least kind of nice and simple, and it's different from the usual copy and paste crap that you know you usually see. All right, so so obviously it seems to be doing okay. What is this thing pegged to? Assuming I can find it. Um, Oh, okay. So it's pegged to Phantom, and it says 6.78. Okay. So it's pegged 1 to 1 to Phantom, I think. Or something close to that. Uh, you know, since I'm doing this video, hopefully... Uh, the, what the hell are these... Uh, what? There's no way that these things is correct. According to this, the APYs on the APRs on this is stupid high. I mean, I guess so. All right, so we'll do 29% to 43% uh, returns. You know, come to think of this, is this on Yield Wolf by any chance? Because I could have sworn, I could have sworn that maybe I saw this on Yield Wolf and then I ignored it. I don't know. Oh boy, now it's gonna load forever. Um, Rubik? Oh, okay. So this is actually on Yield Wolf. Oh. Yeah, just when I say I don't want to do any more tomb forks, then this project comes along. Great. Oh, all right. <sighs> I fucking hit the wrong button. Now this is going to take forever. Rubik. Oh, you know what? I, I actually do need to click here. Hold on. Because I need to get the URL for Rubik. All right, there we go. All right, so let me take a look at this again. All right, so very far above peg. Share price is already fifty dollars. Uh, shares are going down. Yeah, I mean as tempting as this is, like before I might have tried it, but now again I just don't want to deal with tomb forks anymore. So I'm gonna pass on this project. Um, with that being said, I'm gonna assume. All right, is he using the smart APR system? God, I haven't even said that in a long time. All right, uh, our share Rubik. So this is neutral, so it's good. Well, actually, it's I take half of that. Rubik FTM, our shares, and our share USDC. Um, yeah, it is using smart APR system, I think. I'm probably not going to worry too much about the our share USDC thing. The TVLs look very similar, and the APRs are not that much different. And you got this. Um, okay. So it's using smart APR system at least. The yeah, you can kind of see it because my camera's kind of covering this a little bit. Uh, yeah. I mean, this looks okay. Um, where's their white paper? Do they have a white paper? Well, I guess I don't really care. Is is this thing too zoomed in? Yeah, it's too zoomed in. Okay, thing down there says compound, so what does that mean? 
Yield Wolf. Oh, it just takes me to Yield Wolf. Okay. All right. So, um, what do I say? You know, I'm going to write 25% to 43% daily APR. Yeah, fine. All right. So, they don't have a white paper or I can't seem to find it. Uh, so I don't know how much uh, shares these things are printing every epoch, right? But for now, if I can't find the info, I assume it's the default 4.5% 4 .5 per epoch uh, uh, peg token uh, thingamajig. Uh, here's a trade button. It takes me to spooky swap. Great. So, all right. Well, I don't know why everyone's been nagging me about this project because I don't, I literally don't see anything here. There's a Discord, there's a Telegram. Interesting enough, no Twitter. I find that very interesting. Again, I don't want to deal, deal with Tomb Forks anymore. Uh, and again, this thing is quite far above PEG. Uh, I think 6.76. So, and the share prices are already down. So... If I were to do this project, I would probably just wait it out, right? Because even Dante and High Finance have been taking massive hits, so I so I exited that shit. I just put I just put some of that money into America Money and just you know not dealing with this shit anymore. Uh, well, that being said, I mean this looks okay. I mean I don't really see any crazy red flags, and it's you know doing pretty decent, and it's still paying a pretty nutty APR. Despite the share price dropping, like, you know, whatever. Uh, well, that being said, I went, oh, hey, this thing just showed up. Uh, I think I think it's because, I don't know what's going on with this. Uh, Yield Wolf, that is. But I think it might just be a problem I am using Brave. Um, but I don't know why a lot of people were uh, asking me about this. I mean, it just looks the same as everything else. So... I don't know, it would be helpful if they had a white paper or Twitter or something where I could read, uh, oh, there we go, docs, there we go. Uh, yeah, they don't, they don't show anything here. I mean, their documentation page doesn't have anything, and I'm not going to read the, the, I don't want to take the time to go to Telegram and Discord, I just don't have a lot of time. So I don't know. I guess check out Rubik Finance. You know, of course, got Yield Wolf, so that's not so that's good. That's not bad. Which means at least one of these contract pools are renounced, right? So I can't believe I still remember this stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't know why this project is getting a lot of hype. Which I think technically is a good sign because that means they're doing marketing, right? But. Again, I'm personally going to stay away because I just don't want to deal with Tomb Forks anymore. But other than that, I mean, this seems like a pretty good project. So uh, just be careful, again, about this thing being way above peg. And, of course, share prices always drop to like $10, $20 eventually, over 25 But without more data, I don't actually know what their little uh, gimmick thing is. So, you know, I don't know. They got maybe something going on. I mean, because it is kind of nuts. All right, because this has been out, actually, this has been out for almost a week, all right, and it's doing okay, all right, the peg token. So there's definitely something going on with this project that, you know, I don't know of, but, you know, uh, I've seen so many of these, and I'm, I'm just kind of, like, sick and tired of dealing with it, so, yeah. So even though I'm probably leaving money on the table, I'm going to let it go, so... I'm, I'm perfectly happy just doing minor projects, to be honest, despite the problems with it, because at least I can understand what it is, and I can read their code, and I can figure out exactly what I need to do, all right, and what to avoid, all right, so I'm done for the day, uh, like, subscribe, share this video, uh, blah, 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 thank you to all the, all the new people watching this, uh, the, this video, please subscribe to the channel, because right now I've got a bunch of assholes, again, uh, from certain countries that are southwest of China, trying to fuck up the channel, and, you know, I'm not going to delete my uh, video, right, because, you know, fuck these scammers. So, um, so yeah. Oh, look at that. The share price went up, so. But, yeah, uh, this uses a smart APR system at minimum, so I think so. I didn't really do that much of a check, but they made it nice and easy for me to figure it out, so. All right, whatever. Good enough for me. And 
yeah, it looks pretty good. And of course, it's on Yule Wolf, so it's got really good TVL as well. There's actually a lot of money floating around in this project, so that's an even better sign. All right. I'll see you all tomorrow if there's any projects to cover. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's all I said. So I'm going to actually make some food. I actually, I actually need to exercise too. It's already one o'clock. It's a nice day out. I haven't even done any exercise. I haven't done push-ups for two days. So, and I need to get back to reading the contract code for, um, for really these minor projects. Cause I got to figure out this penalty system. All right. Thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. Again, check out Rubik finance. Uh, looks pretty good for a tomb fork. All right.